M0FXB, welcome to my channel. Big thanks to R1CBU. We now have the new version 17 firmware for the X6100. We're going to use Belina Etcher. I'll put a link in the description for Belina. The download, you just click here, you'll get this yellow file here. And within that yellow file, you'll find that the SD card image is there. Put it somewhere where you're going to find it. So once you've done that, you know, format your SD card, put it in your PC, and then you go flash from file. Find the download, version 17, which is going to find somewhere. So let's just see if we can extract that to somewhere. Extract or browse. Let's put it in a file on my desktop so I can find it. Desktop. And then R1CBU17 select folder extract. So it puts it in that folder that we saw. The way we create a folder, we just right click. So it's done it now. Let's close that down. We just right click here, right click, new folder, show more options, a bit laggy today. And then you just select new folder, new folder, and we've called it R1CBU17. So now let's go to Belina, close this down, flash from file, go to that file double click and there it is there select target which is my SD card plugged in the laptop select and then flash and when it's done when it's gone all the way across put it into the X6100 and let's have a play okay we're at the radio all you do is put the SD card in and turn it on if you don't want to keep it you just take the SD card out turn it on again and it will be back to the normal x6100 so wow this is very impressive isn't it let's just go through some functions i'm going to push this button here and go through these menus so menu number one we've seen set one set two set three so that looks like memory four stroke four agc went straight past that volume and then filter low and high, mic select, H mic gain, I mic gain, so I would say internal mic gain, hand mic gain. Look at that, what's that spectrum? I mean, he's done a very good job with this spectrum fill. Let's just hit it. Spectrum fill on, I mean, spectrum peak on peak hold five seconds peak speed i mean look at it I'm, i don't know if you can change these colors but and as i'm turning the this the volume knob i suppose look it's going through all the different functions that we can choose let's choose the power one it goes white i can dim it a bit it's quite bright isn't it Let's dim it down, it's a bit bright. I can find the dimmer. Hopefully that's dimmed it a bit better. So I see that, so do you see that? It dims on it, it goes bright when you use it and then dims, so there'll be a setting for that. See that? It goes bright. Anyway, okay, let's, let's hit general. Volume. Are we going through the same menus? Squelch, RF gain, TX power, audio volume. Let's go for the apps. Now I've got to try out FT8, so we're going to go FT8. Set the frequency to 7074. Go to USB digital and let's just see what happens. So we're gonna remember it's receive, not transmit. It takes it, you know, a minute or so to kick in. <clears throat> this is very colourful, all this.
you notice here you're seeing the time and the battery there's your signal meter preamp attenuator ATU fast USB we're not having any joy at the moment there's the ATU I'm pretty sure we've got SWR as well. Let's try that. SWR meter. There it is there. Let's push it. Run. There you go. Scale. And span. We've got 7074. Have we got the right mode? USB digital. We'll just hit FRTTY so you see what that looks like. Obviously, you've got to be on the right frequency. Different settings as well. Rate, shift, center, reverse. It's trying already. If you go into CW mode, now there's no CW here, but I'm pretty sure it automatically starts to try and decode, look, CW, as soon as you go in. Let's just try it in USB, and then we'll go FT8 again. Yeah, no joy at the moment, but we can we can keep trying. There is an instruction manual as well. Let's just go back. Let's do a bit of GPS. Let's push that. See what happens. Now I didn't know this radio had GPS. Is it that we can put the location in? I suppose it has got a Linux system, so that's interesting, isn't it? Again, read the manual. Let's do the filters. Nothing on that one. Message, app. Number two, settings. So there's some settings here. For the time and date. Still moving the frequency here. Go through brightness. Oh, timeout brightness. See that? I'm just pushing buttons now. Well, I'll show you how to download it. Read the manual. I'll have a little play myself. See what functions we can get. I'm turning the MFK knob. Line in, line out. Mag frequency into out, clock view. Line in. There you go. I'm intrigued by the the GPS. So anyway, link in the description. Thanks for watching my channel. Seven three, all the best.